Okay, so I just found out about these things called rope constraints and they're actually really, really cool. So let me actually show you what they are, right? So if I add two parts, right? And then in one of the parts, I'm gonna add a rope constraint like so. If we look at the rope constraints, right? So we can't see it right now, but you can change the color, the thickness, the visibility. I'll just set visibility to true. What we need right now, are two attachments. So we need, you know, where the rope starts and then when the rope ends. And the way we actually do attachments is we can add attachments to parts, right? So if I wanna add an att attachment to both of these parts, I'll just, you know, add an attachment here. And then this part now should have, let me see. Yep, there we go. So this part now has an attachment and then I can just add another attachment here. And then that gets added to the middle of this part as well. So now in the rope constraint, I could just put attachment zero to be, you know, this one and attachment one to, the, to be this one. And now we have a rope. Yeah, if I, if I play the game right now and then inside the server, I select this part and I start moving it up. Yeah, so as you can see, obviously, because I'm moving it while it like gravity is applying on it, it's, it's a little buggy. But as you can see, because of the rope, the other part is like moving along with it. So these are basically like rope, like physics, right? A thing you could do for testing as well is if I move this part like up here and then I'm gonna anchor it. So I'll set anchored to true so that it doesn't fall, but I'll keep this one unanchored. And then I'm gonna set the rope constraint length to be 10, right? Just a little longer. Uh, we have restitution, which just basically decides like how elastic the rope is. So like, you know, how, how far it's able to like stretch like a rubber band. And then what winch enable does is it simply like changes the length of the rope automatically based on like the speed that it's going at or like the, the parts that it's attached to are going at, right? So we can keep this off. We don't really need, need this. And then if I were to take this part and just, you know, add a drag detector to it, just so we can actually drag it in the game, as you can see, we have this part and then, you know, I can actually like move it like this. And then as you can see, because, you know, they're both connected with rope constraints, the rope physics are at play. And then I'm able to you know, hold it like, like this and kind of like drag it around like so. It's a little buggy, okay? <laughs> I can show you the, um, the elastic thing or the restitution as they call it. So it goes from zero to one. So if I set this to, oh, wrong button. If I set this to one, for example, it has more bend to it, as you can see, right? Before it really did, and it was kind of like a straight line. Here it's more bendable. That's effectively the only difference. And another thing that, you, uh, that actually is pretty cool is that you're able to attach like players to rope constraints, right? Yeah, so if I were to, okay, just delete this part, right? So we now have a rope constraint um, that only has, you know, one attachment. And then I were to, I go on the server, I click on here, I click on the part. And then for the rope constraint, I want to attach it to the player's head. So we have attachment number zero, which is this one. Uh, but then the player's head, let's see. Uh, hat attachment, let's see. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So if I were to click on rope constraint, you know, add a attachment one and then click on the, what was it? Hair, hat, whatever. Hair, sure. As you can see, now we're attached and this does not look good, YouTube. And then, yeah, it's visible. We can make it thick as well. So we can make like one. And, and by the way, I don't believe that this thickness changes the actual physics. It just changes the appearance, right? We can change the color, right? Which we, it's still orange because we have it selected. But then if we, if we don't have it selected, then we can actually see the color, right? And I, I can set the thickness to like 0 0.1 or like 0 0.05 even. Yeah, something like that. And then if I were to go back to my client, as you can see, we have this like little, little rope, which is now holding us in place. And we can like kind of, you know, if we, if we jump, it kind of like sends us back, right? And so there's, there's actually a lot of cool things you can do with this. I'm pretty sure that there was like a game where it's a two player lobby where like two players are connected with a rope, right? And then like you have to like um, navigate the lobby with another player connected to a VR rope. So that, that's pretty cool. There was one more thing. Oh, I see. Okay. There's a, like a thing called current distance, which uh, it gives you the distance between the two attachments, which you can actually get via script, right? So rope constraints have their own little like, like some script thing. So if I do script.parent, yeah, so you can get the, the distance, right? So... What was it called again? Current. Yeah, so you can get the current distance between the two attachments if there are any, right? But that aside, that's all there is to know about rope constraints. Uh, go to the comments. I have like a link there where you can give me your email and I can give you stuff. So that's obvi obviously worth it, right? I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> um, well, yeah, and we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.